now banana peanut butter when i get hungry and i really need a snack and my tummy starts growling like it's going to attack i turn to my daddy and i say hey dad hand me a banana pretty please and just a tad a peanut butter on a spoon make it quick make it soon i'll let you get it ready while i sing this tune banana peanut butter banana peanut butter i want it right now banana peanut butter banana peanut butter banana peanut butter i want it right now banana peanut butter if you've never had this combo here's what you gotta do next stop flavor town population two grab a ripe banana and a jar of peanut butter get yourself a knife and go absolutely nada spread it real smooth like the icing on a cake big bite dance it out do the bp shake banana peanut butter banana peanut butter i want it right now banana peanut butter banana peanut butter banana peanut butter i want it right now banana peanut butter banana peanut butter banana peanut butter i want it right now banana peanut butter banana <laughs> Oh, we good, we good. Hey, doing, doing, doing. It's Friday, which means it's a week in review Woo! party. I'm Bianca, no Andy today, so sorry, you have to look at my mug for one whole hour. But we do have Luke behind the camera and we have Courtney looking for names <laughs> for our wheel. So, why do we have a wheel? Well, you guys know if you're regulars, it's the prize wheel. Oh, it's so exciting. So, all you have to do is participate in this Facebook Live feed that is going on right now and try and get Courtney's attention. You know, ask an interesting question, drop a comment about what you're seeing and uh, you might win a prize. And what that's are right, the prizes? That's right. What are the prizes? Could We've be got... anything. Well, no, it's actually this. Yeah, it's actually this. This is a pop culture exclusive. And now we'll get around to why this does not have a sticker a little bit later when we oh, touch on Funko. But okay. this is 100,000% a pop culture slash Funko shop exclusive. Yep. So yeah, this and is then... one of the prizes. And then there's, there's going to be more later. Might be some other things. Yay. So stay tuned, folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but until then, let's get into it, right? Yeah, what are we going to get into? There's we're so gonna, much amazing we're gonna do things some to records. choose. We're going to do records. What? Records first? We, we haven't done records You've for a while. You've lost your damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, you guys, because not only have we not done records for a while, but uh, you, you have us. You, we don't have Jess here at the moment, so I'm really sorry. Yep. But the experts left have... the building, so we're going to muddle our way through as best we can. Yeah, party, right? So, waxworks. We have a lot, a lot of waxworks, and it's Dude. really, really exciting. <laughs> so, let's go through these, right? Who's the first cab off the rank? We have Le Jason Voorhees. Mr. Voorhees. Yes, Mr. Killer. This is a really cool cover, actually, yep. because it's all like, there's like another layer here. So it looks is... really three dimensional. Yeah, it's Oh, great. it actually is. Yeah, That's why. It actually the is. The doy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a layer of cardboard here oh, and then the artwork that... underneath. Oh, this that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's so hard this to see is... for the folks at home, but there you go. You can kind of see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like pretty it's cool. Like it's the glass, like he's smashing through the porthole yeah. of something. Yeah, well, bam. Um, so this is Friday the 13th. Um, Jason takes Manhattan um, mm. soundtrack. So two LPs, got the... Oh, this is cool. This is all designed like the subway. And look, ooh, he's, he's, he's up in there. Last Taking the stop. subway. Oh, look out. Um, but yeah, so original motion picture soundtrack. It's got all the good stuff on it, yep. like the story of Jason, Goodbye Susie, all the great tracks on there. Good on him, though, for being eco-conscious and taking public transport. Yeah, I know. And now we have this one. Oh. We have uh, the New Blood soundtrack. Uh -oh. Ooh, this is very lighty. Very cool. Uh oh. Um, yes. Yeah, so again, original motion picture soundtrack. It's yep. got the prologue. It's got the main titles. It's got all the tracks. All, all the, tracks the tracks that you want. Yep. All them. All the stuff with with some sick waxwork <laughs> artwork. <laughs> we also have Evil Dead Two here. Yeah. 
I'm pretty. I'm pretty into this artwork. Look at that. Yes. Ooh. Don't. Oh, don't touch the That's bones real, like that. Right? Oh, it's gross. <laughs> Makes and, me feel funny in my arm. Uh, I'm sorry. Now my arm feels funny. Um, also, I was holding it the wrong way. Ha yes. ha ha. This is the front cover. Yep. Yeah, that's sick. And that's the back. So original motion picture soundtrack. Yep. It's got all the um, tracks and stuff on it. And dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. <laughs> And we also have My Bloody Valentine. Oh, yeah. I have not seen this movie, but we have the track for this. Um, all the tracks, actually. See, side A, side B. Yep. Really some really sick artwork there. We also have, I'm pretty excited about these. We have a couple of Rob Zombies in here. Oh. So excited. Okay. Yeah, you're a bit of a fan, aren't you? A little, a little bit. A little bit. I love that, man. Um, <laughs> okay, so. This one is really cool. This is like, um, oh, what was it? It's kind of like a retelling of House of a Thousand Corpses in comic yeah. book form. Oh, and yeah. it's like a story, yeah. right? Uh, it's a listen along story. Like, you know how you used to get like book on tapes? Well, now you kind of got like a comic on vinyl, Whoa. which is pretty cool. These guys um, are into it. Yeah, and it has like <gasps> pieces of um, audio from the movie oh, okay. incorporated in. So it's a real experience what kind we of got? piece, right? Attention boils and ghouls. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it goes through the whole film. Um, it opens up. There's like artwork and stuff in there you can follow along with Ooh, while you're listening to cool. it. That's cool. Very cool, right? Super exciting. Also, from the mind of the man Rob Zombie, we have House on Haunted Hill, the yep. original. Original motion picture soundtrack. I'm getting tongue-tied every time I say that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, all the tracks there that you would want in sick font. Yep. She's I checking them say. out. Oh, She's yeah. She's like, ooh, yeah. ah, the star. And he's like, oh, what are he's you doing? He's like, I'm not oh, sure wow. about this anymore. <laughs> She's like, no, come on, Bill, it'll be great. <laughs> what about these two? Well, she's got some, <laughs> this guy's asleep. And either she's got some mean side eye or she's some sort of possessed going on. Yeah, I think she's some sort of possessed going yeah, on I'll too. Yeah, I think so too. All right, moving on. We have The Exorcist. Believe Speaking of possessed. Her. I have not seen this movie, but we've got the soundtrack for this. Apparently there's two of them possessed in this one. Uh-oh. Very interesting. And Double if anything, trouble. Yeah, and if it's anything like the first installments of the films, it's got some really mm -hmm. good tracks, right? So we've got mm -hmm. all those on there. And we also have The Exorcist 3. This oh, is some really cool Triple artwork. threat. Yeah. And of course, again, they're all motion picture soundtracks. They're all yep. OSTs. So they've got all the music that you would want from. All of the exorcisms you could want. Yeah, all the exorcisms. We also have No One Will Save You. Oh, this looks like aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So music by Joseph Trapanese. That's a very interesting name. That's a name. fun name. That's a good name. You got all the tracks on there. Yeah, party. Very mm -hmm. good. We also have oh, yeah. things. Wow. What a movie this was. Yeah, this, you've seen it? Yes, there is so much to unpack on this movie and that is a hell of an annoying layout for the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but there you go. We have this. If you would like the original soundtrack on vinyl, oh, you can now get it from us. You can also get Godzilla Minus One. This <gasps> is excellent. Yeah, I have not watched it yet, but I you would really should. like to. Uh, yeah, ooh, Do it this weekend. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear. Portent, portent, <laughs> confusion, Godzilla's sweet one. Yep, all the stuff. Yep, all the a, stuff. You I dare say it's to. probably even got like the the classic. We also have um, Jedi Survivor. Um, so this is a game soundtrack, yes. but it's still a soundtrack. So it's got all the music you want. Mm. Look, it's got Dark Times. It's got those. It's got Beneath the Katina. It's Katsina. got, yeah, it's got so Pilgrim's Path. It's got yep. Mogo in the Mist. It's got Mogo everything. in the Mist. What a jam. If you don't feel like playing the game, but you want to listen to the music and make yep. it all atmospheric, get it That's on That's the one final. for you. And I think we've been through this. Yep. All done? That's it. That's, that's vinyls. That, yep, that's all of them. I just had to double check. Cool. Yep. So that's vinyls. Sorry if it wasn't a pro experience like Jess always provides, but. Nah, we nailed it. We tried our best. But hey, let's let's look at some plushies because we have some Studio Ghibli plushies. Soft friends. Yeah, yeah. We have Oops. Calcifer. Calcifer. And, and he's super. Is that fuzzy. Studio Ghibli? Bit yeah. of Gibbs? Yeah, it's spirited Jib, away. Jib, yeah. Yeah. Spirited Away. No, sorry, Howl's Moving Castle. 
My bad, I got confused. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's a little flyer. A little soft yeah. friend. But he's really cool because he has like a real nice gradient going on. If you ever wanted to cuddle fire, but thought that was a bad idea, well, this is a good idea. Yeah, this is a very good idea. And now you can, idea. finally. <laughs> Look at his little face. Ooh, they captured him perfectly. It's real good. We also have many Toro Toros. Check it out. We have a little green Toro Toro. We have a normal Toro Toro. Great. Whoa, geez, I zoomed a bit faster. <laughs> we also have one like. Whoa. That's a good one. And we also have a really. Oh, that's a big smush. A big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, cute. And he's got whiskers and everything. Oh, did I, that's did I mention oh. that? He's got whiskers. Whiskies. They, they all have whiskers, which is pretty cute. Is that the bus? We, yes, we have the cat bus. Look at that. This is oh the cat bus. Oh my god. How cool is it? It's even got mousies on there. Oh, mousies and, and all the windows. And the oh, it has all the legs. Yeah, 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 all the legs. And we got the tail and the, the underneath and the <laughs> Yep. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. It's such a weird thing, isn't it? It's so odd. I love it. That's the great thing about cat Studio bus. Ghibli, right? We also have a, a little bag cat oh, bus. Look, what look, do you mean look, bag? See, look, look, look. I even put stuff in it. Hang on a minute, hang on. Zip it up again. It's the tail. No, I know, but has it got a little. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Tiny cat bus. Moving on. Cat butt. Um, we also have, oh, what's her name from um, Kiki's Delivery Service? Uh, Gigi. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have one little plushie. This is for one G. Beans as well. And there's the other one. And this one, this G -G. one is also a bag. Oh, yep. Has that got the, has that also got the, yeah, it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> so we have those. And yeah, that's all the plushies we've got. Now we There's so have, much stuff here. There's so what much else we stuff. Got? We got some exciting things down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a fantasy. I don't know if that's how you say it. Is that's it how you want to say it. Fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy. Okay, so this this stuff is amazing, right? Yes. So this is kind of like Lego, and you have to build all these sets. Let's get in close on some of this stuff. Let's 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 yeah, dig, yeah, yeah. dig into this. Yeah, let's have a look. At welcome to Pandasy. So a vintage television, right? Yes. So you build all this yourself. But the cool thing about this is that you can actually put your phone in here. What? And it will help project what you're watching. That's to make it fun. even that's fun. To like really enhance your watching experience. Yeah. So once you build it, it doesn't just kind of sit there, it has like a use. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. And see, I know some of these other sets have this kind of interactive feature and that's what we've seen a lot from this uh, yeah. fantasy brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And their quality too, like the bricks are, yeah, like it's, an, it's not Lego, that's not what it is. No. But it, it is also very much Lego. Yeah. Um, it is. In terms of quality and, you know, what you're building with it. Yeah. So it's a construction set. It's all construction bricks. Um, you build them. They have instructions. You make the thing. But a lot of them have these really cool interactive elements to them. Yeah, um, yeah, like yeah, play yeah. features, if you will. Like, um, what was it? This one. This is the starring piece, Yeah, this is right? nuts, this thing. Yeah, so tell me about this because you guys were checking this out earlier yeah, in the so, week. Yeah, so you... The experience of building this is supposed to be likened to, you know, building an old retro PC, right? Yeah. So here you can kind of see, like, you build the different parts. You also, if you, we spin, give it a yeah, little yeah, spinner sure, sure, room. Sure. You build all the different parts for it. Um, where are we? Like, you've got the disc drives. You've got little mini floppy disks you build. Floppy you, You've disc. got the motherboards, all the different cards. There's, like, the, um, I think that's the power supply with the fan on it like all the different drives that you pop inside it. This then is you've got nuts. the discs. Um, you've got all the little plugs and everything that goes on the back just as they were um, for people who are really old like myself and remember uh, this stuff. Yes, yeah, same. CRT though. monitor, <laughs> that sweet white computer that over time went yellow. Oh my God. Because of sun damage. <laughs> but the really cool thing about this, right, is it actually does run a really old version of Windows. It's either Windows 95 or Windows 98 and you can play for reals, Minesweeper on it. That is wild. Are you kidding me? That is wild. I used from to play a, Minesweeper and get so mad from because a brick construction I wouldn't win. Set. How cool is that? So you can play Minesweeper yeah. on this. First, you build parts, then you make a computer, then you use the computer. This might be a computer I can actually build. 
Yeah. Because I yeah, have, it'll have instructions. for real PCs. It'll have instructions. <laughs> I have a PC, but I'm not smart enough to build one. But yeah, I can build this. You can do this. I can do this and I can play Minesweeper. Yeah. Man. You can say you built a computer. Right? Imagine that on your resume. Pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. And like, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of action right there. Man. It's a lot of pieces. That is so sick. And we've got like an, a couple more computer yeah, yeah, ones yeah. here. So we have like this one as well. That also comes with like floppy disks and a keyboard and everything. Yes, yeah, so this one sort of has all different um, changeable kind of elements that you can put into the screen. Like it's doing different things and playing different bits and bobs. Um, and again, same same idea. You can uh, swap out pieces for um, inside when you're uh, creating it. If we give it a little... Yeah, and it's based on Paladin, right, from the yeah. 90s. Uh -huh. So all the display yeah. elements are from that by the looks of it. Yes. Yeah. So again, That's little cool. cute little floppy disks, all the disk drives come in and out. Um, yeah, really, really, really cool stuff. Wow. And even like this little scene just popping up on top of yeah. it. That's yeah. That's really cool. It's kind of like... It, it reminds me of like, you know, how you can get really immersed in a game. It's like it's bringing that experience yes. to life. Yes. But in a, a buildable fantasy form. Even on like down to the, like the, the loading bar on the packaging with the little like, the little um, hourglass and stuff there. Like, yeah. They, it, it's really good. I'm, I'm really impressed by this panels yeah. and stuff. This is like really unique yep. and really cool. And look at that. What? Look at this. Oh, hang on. But before we get to that. Oh, yeah. So this one. Same theme. So yeah, this is more yeah. along the lines of a modern gaming uh, PC, right? Where you're, you know, you've got your card there. It looks like you've got some kind of water cooling system going on there. Big graphics card there. Yeah. RAM modules. Um, and we've got heaps of bits yes, in there. Yes, yes. And it does light up. LED light set. Sick. That. Sick. This is so good. So if you're like a massive gaming nerd like us, then you will love this. Yeah, it is so cool. Or if you're into um, gramophones. Yeah, let's you, go to the other end of the spectrum yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can build a gramophone. That's pretty cool. Like, I love this. It's And so it's really good, like right? ornate yeah. for what it is yeah. too. That's the other thing about these pieces. They're I haven't looked so closely detailed. at this one, but I bet... I bet you all this works and stuff. Let's give it a spin because oh, I reckon it will. I reckon it'll have heat. Yep, yeah, sure like this, enough. There, that, that, that goes around. around. That goes around. That goes around. That spins. Man. The, this the is out of this world. The engineering, and I imagine there's quite a bit that you have to build in there, like technical, mechanical business going on to make it all work. But the engineering that's gone into these things yeah. is... It, it's crazy. It's nuts. It's insane. It's and nuts. they even give you like measurements here to show yep. you like how big it's going to be once you've built it all. Yeah. So Whoever designed these space. is got the big smart. Yeah, because... yeah, yeah, yeah. Big brain action. Yeah. That is real good. And we got some like theme oh stuff God, from stuff. the show. We have Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. This again, this is rad. The yeah. design on these is so cool and kind of plays into each character's um, kind of theme. So you've got, you got Poe here. And he's got the got the noodle stand going. Yeah, Poe's dumpling shop. Yeah. This is really cool. And it's officially licensed as well, which is just extra cool. Yep. Really good stuff. And then That's that goes so through cool. kind of the main each of the main characters. You've got Sifu. He's yeah. got his little tea shop there. Again, got the teapot there. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> so good, right? It's so cute. Yeah. Love and the then you bits. have uh, what is this? Tigress. Oh, the fruit store. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm delighted. Right, <laughs> and like adorable. this kind of like bamboo kind of going on on the top. That's so They're good. They're really, really good. That's so good. Right, here we go, here we go. Got the ramen. Ooh, ramen. The ramen Ooh, shop we've got happening. more ramen related things mm, to show you later. Zen's ramen stall. This is going to be another show when we get really hungry, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Already it's happening. Fine. It's yeah, already yeah, yeah. happening. Let's put that over and here. And who's, we got this friend here. We have Zen's um, Cos Rider. Oh. oh! So, does stuff, right? Yeah. It does stuff. Look. Yep. That is really cool. So they're like little, um, they're like little like show rides. That yeah. Each of the characters little are rides. That's so fun. we have more of those too, which is pretty cool. Oh, I didn't see these before. These yeah. are cool. Yeah. And we have like again, the, like the interactive moving bits and stuff. Yeah. 
It's insane. I love all the play features on all this stuff. Yeah. And we've got, all, like, this is only but a sample of a huge haul of yeah. fantasy we've stuff that we've brought in. So much stuff. If you check out, you know, our website just arrived you'll see yep. everything that's come popculture.com.au jump on there there'll be a heap of fantasy stuff on there and got more going up check it so all exciting. out they're real it's really exciting Including. if you're into brick construction sets you need to have fantasy on your radar yeah absolutely i'm really happy that fantasy is on they got my some radar. really sick astro boy stuff this is just mm. a little boy this but there's like a, a full one. like um like it's almost like a, a dissection autopsy of him as well. You get to see one half built like the the uh, Astro Boy, and then you get another other half. It's got all the mechanics inside. It's got light up bits and like mechanical arm oh, things coming man. in. And it's really we really might have good. to bring it on for next oh, week, so right? Sick. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we were so excited and we yep. just filled up this space so quickly. We've also got like. Um, Succulent gardens, which is yeah. succulent's quite a word, right? Succulent. This is really good. So this is, you know, instead of having your flowers just die on you all the time, you can have something like this. Yeah. Like how Lego do flowers. Yeah. Now, Pandasy do like succulents and stuff. That's right. Yeah, it's now really you can cool. Now you can play God. Yeah. You can build flowers. You can make life that, that never dies. <laughs> My God. Can you imagine? So you can't, it's kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, being a god and uh, necromancy at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the best of both worlds power. with fantasy, but yeah, succulent really gardens. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> really cool displays. Like, yeah, these, these are, are these are excellent. Yeah, these are great. These are, and they would look great, great as a set great. too. Like, you know, like, yeah, bop, bop, absolutely. Bop. Like, look at them. Look at them. Perfect. Get all of them. Put, put them around your house. Exactly. Play God. Amazing. Amazing. So good. Now. We have more stuff, so. Oh God, we have so much. Yeah, we have so much stuff. Let's check out um, these. Yes, so, let's let's do that. We got some gallery dioramas here from yep. DST. So we have uh, the one and only Chris Jericho as he appears in AEW. Jizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's got um, his title belt, um, all in his gear and everything, including like metallic paint mm, and everything to really bring him to life. And I don't know if you can see, but he's on the entrance ramp. Oh, yeah. Which has also yeah, got, got some the metallic lights. paintwork and Checks everything out. there. Really cool. And there's like a better view. Oh, and yeah. there's more well, characters more you can friends. also get. John Moxley, Sting, and there he is. Yeah. The one and only Jericho. Jericho! Yeah. So cool. Who else we got? <gasps> we also have... You, you sounds Van, like you know about this guy. Van Damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I only know about VD. Rob Van Dam in wrestling. I don't know much about Jean this Claude. Van Dam. No, I don't Jean know much about Jean-Claude Claude Van Dam. Yeah, so this looks pretty cool. This is like, this is big kick. Yeah, that's what he's, that's his whole thing. He does splits all over the shop. Any opportunity okay. to do the splits, Van Dam's all about that action. And now he's like, he's like, check this out. You seen people do splits on the ground? I'm gonna do it standing up, cop that. Yeah, and is this from the people copping it? There's like blood splatter 100%. on the face. This Ooh. this looks like uh, from uh, Bloodsport, the movie Bloodsport. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, look at that. Yes, you can see yes. that. And there's blood. like a gong behind him. Sports checks out. Yep. Yeah. That, that's pretty good. I, hey -ya! I do dig that sculpt. It's real good. We also have the Silver Surfer. Oh, it's kind of an unfortunate position here, ah. but. Uh, if we go around, we can see his head in Punch. there a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got a gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is really cool. It's super shiny too, as it should be, because yes, it's the silver so well. surfer, right? Shiny. There we go. There's a better view you go. of the whole thing. We've got the translucent water and a um, superpower effects and stuff Ooh, going on. this is fun. Yeah, it's real good. This is fun. I'm really and he's doing, into this. He's doing hand things. Yeah, hand things, superpower things, yep. superhero things, silver surfer things. Yep. I am not up with Silver Surfer. Well, no, you but can if, be. Yeah, if you are, here you go. Um, Diamond Select Toys are really great at doing these PVC dioramas as well and gallery statues and everything yep. at an affordable um, cost as That's well. That's right. And PVC is really hella light too, yeah, which is good. It's good. easy. Like, look at this. Whoa. Anyway, <laughs> um, we also have... Um, Jack Skellington um, creeping around Oogie Boogie's lair. Mm. So this is when he's going to save Sandy Claus and Sally and everyone. Um, it's really cool. Like, look, look how tiny his legs are. They've yeah. really captured Some, his form perfectly. He's real gangly. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's proper daddy long leg style, right? So here's this a look at that good. base and everything, as you see in like Oogie's lair and good. stuff. Yeah, it's real good. Um, so that's all we've got from um, Diamond Select Toys. I'm just going to move everything and back a little bit so, so we can get closer. Where are we going to go next? Table. I think we should go over to some fig pins and then we'll go over to some Funko, right? All right, figures. All right, so fig pins. Um, so we have more crossover action with Looney Tunes going on. Oh. So we have Taz the Taz Flash. Taz Flash. The Flashmanian Devil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well done. We also have Daffy Duck as Superman, so Super Daffy, I guess. We also have Porky <laughs> as Robin, so would he be like Pork Porkin? That's terrible. Let's move on. Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Bunny. Wonder Bunny. Uh, we have Bugs Bunny as Batman, so Bat, Bat Bugs Bunny. Bat Bunny. Bat Bun. Bat, Bat Bun. Bunny. Ah, but they're all fig pins now. Yep. You can also Bunny get. Bunny stuff. Um, from X Men 97, you can get this character. Oh, Roberto da Costa. There you go. Roberto. Collect awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have from Naruto Shippuden, we have um, Neji. I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation of that. And here's more I can say wrong probably. <laughs> we have the Legend of Korra, so we have Asami. Uh -huh. We have Ma Mako, Mako, Ma Marco Polo. Mako. Mako, Mako Fire. <coughs> yeah, okay. We have Amon as well. Amon. And Korra, I know how to say that one. Yay. That's a win. Yes. That's a big win. You know what else is Get a big win? Get some big pins in your life. What? Funko. You know it what is. Funko are doing? What are they doing? Funko are doing more cool stuff. Um, so what these are. What are they up to? They're obviously Christmas themed, right? Little yep. holiday themed and whatnot. Checks what out. these are is for your stockings. Stocking stuffers? Yeah. So like you sit them on the edge of the table, uh -huh. say, there is a little hook in here, where you oh. can hang your stockings off of. Not stocking stuff, it's stocking hangers. Stocking hangers. That's actually really useful. Yeah, so it'll act as like a counterweight as well. So if you've got a lot of stocking stuffers, yep. they're gonna help you keep them there. It's not gonna just like fall off the fireplace and be like, oh no, Christmas is ruined or something. Yeah. <laughs> Funko is this gonna is, save This it. is good, this yeah. is good. And they have bobbleheads too. So we have Chewy. Yeah. Of course. Uh, we also have Yoda. Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. We also have C3PO. Oh, he's a little elf on the shelf, yeah, actually. Yeah, he's got a little present next to him as well, which is cool. And we have Darth Vader, of course. And he has a candy cane a lightsaber. Or just a candy cane. Pretty, pretty I don't know. Cute. I assume it's a lightsaber. It's got to be. I think right. that's what they are going for. Yeah, and from the OG stop motion film Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, we've got Santa. Mm -hmm. Santa not Claus. a bobblehead, this one. No, nope. because that's not part of the license for Funko. It is Star Wars and Marvel that'll have the bobbleheads. So yep. that's why they don't. So Santa, and we have Rudolph as well. This is really cute. Look, look, look at his oh, little, little bot bot. Yeah. Look at his little feet. It's so adorable. I love that. So yeah, um, in stock now. That's cool. Yeah. Get them now. Hang them. Get them now. Hang Don't your wait. With a pop. Because you know what's going to happen. Yeah. You're going to forget. Out. Then Christmas is going to go rolling around. You're going to be, oh, I'm going to hang these stockings up, and then you're going to be like, oh yeah, those things that I forgot to get. Darn it, I should have got those. Don't do that. Don't, Don't be do that, that person. Get them. Get them now. Get them. And then you don't have to worry. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Real good. Now let's move on. To yes. The yes. Finals. Yes. Okay. So. I was going to tell you guys about this pop culture exclusive, right? Oh, yeah, the sticker. And why it doesn't have the sticker. But first, let me tell you why he has this colorway, right? Mm -hmm. So this pop and a bunch of other ones that we also have in stock, these are based on the uh, retro masks that you can get. But you know those Oh, vacuum like the vacuum form, form ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the original <gasps> art by the artist who did those, I think his name was... Billy something, I am I may be completely remembering that wrong. Um, but yes, so they have introduced that colorway onto Pops. Make them all bright That's and fun. super very, retro looking. Yeah, it's also, it's quite illustrative, right? Like, yeah. gives it that kind of comic booky feel. Yeah, it's That's really cool. cool. So the thing with the sticker is, yeah. this is what we've been noticing. 
Uh, so basically what happens is Funko will send us stuff. We know whether or not it's an exclusive. And then sometimes they come without stickers. So this has happened with a couple of exclusives at least so far. Um, unfortunately, our stock arrives to us as it is. So sometimes it'll have the special edition sticker as opposed to the Funko Shop sticker. And now, recently, as I'm explaining, sometimes it's no sticker at all. It yep. doesn't make it not an exclusive. It just means this is how Funko have sent it to us. Yep. Out of our control, folks. Yeah, completely out of our control, unfortunately. But again, does not affect the exclusivity of it. Yep. So that is why there may be some exclusives that come to us like this. Yeah. So don't be alarmed. It's just that's how they are. Yeah, that's it. Such is life. Yes. It is what it is, right? That's right. But it is very, very cool. It is very, very cool. Very cool. So that is one of our prizes. So someone is going to win Whoop, this at the end of the show, and right? probably maybe some other things too. Yeah. And we have another pop culture exclusive here. This one did arrive with a special edition the sticker, beast. which is very good. Yeah. So Son Gohan in beast form. So this is all translucent and everything. And yeah, he is pretty cool. Red eyes, angry. And we have Gamer Angel here. Gamer Angel. Yeah, so we've had Gamer Stitch previously. This is just a retailer exclusive, but it is so cute. Look, at she's got little kitty headphones. Yep. That speaks to yeah, me as an Someone else who has those. <laughs> um, so she is adorable. Got a little game pad there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder what so she's playing. A, oh, I don't know, man. Maybe I feel like... She might get into some Kirby, some like N64 games. Yeah, and or stuff. just some like really high level elite Counter-Strike. Yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe she's like super into Dark Souls or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, some hardcore game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you never know, right? That's right, you can't, can't pick them. Um, All right. But yeah, we got we got more stuff. Let me go ahead and just move these behind Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good so idea. So we can they... see everything. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Next up, from My Hero Academia, Hiya. we have Shoto Todoroki. Toro, 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 yeah, 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 thank you. <laughs> um, from Batman Forever, celebrating um, 85 years of Batman, all these pops. Uh, we have the Riddler with the pink Riddler. hair. Yep. Very good, very good. We have Catwoman <sighs> from Batman Returns. <sighs> and also from Returns, <laughs> we have the Penguin. That's a good yes, stop. Yes, DeVitz. Mm -hmm. Look at his filthy, dirty teeth. Yeah, it's great, right? <laughs> and from Batman and Robin, we have the one and only Poison Ivy. Yes. Rawr. Yes. Yeah. All right. Also from Dragon Ball Z, oh, we more have Dragon Ball. Gohan in cape. He has a cape. Gohan Why would Gohan. he have a cape, honestly? Uh, we also have from the Infinity Saga, we have Tony Stark. And he glows in the yeah, dark. Yeah, he glows in the dark, which we'd love to show you, but our torch remains out of commission. Oh, so getting, sorry, we need guys. To get that sorted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Star Wars, we have Darth Malgus. Malgus. Yeah, that's a good Whoa. name, right? We also have Darth Treyer. I'm not familiar with Treyer. No, me either. I actually don't know these characters. Mm. And then we have um, HK47 down sort of the bottom. Both face like a scrote though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> anyway, we got this them if cool. you know them. If you yeah. know them, you, you, you might want them. Um, also, from House of the Dragon, we have Alison Hightower. Ooh, very regal, very pretty. Yes, yes. We have Damon Targaryen. Yes. Yeah. Andy. We have Bela as well. Another Targa. Yeah, yeah. Gary. Yen. And we have Ray. Ray. I can't do it. I'm tongue tied. Rhaenyra? Yes. Rhaenyra? Yes, thank you. And we have Jakaris at the bottom too. Now it's worth noting that um, the three of these actually do come in a three piece bundle. So if you want all of those oh, and handy. you want to save some cashola, yep. go ahead and get them in a bundle. We also have a nice six incher Ooh. of burn. And he's hulking. Right? An angry boy with yeah. poison in his veins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them veins. They're venom, insane. sorry, it's venom. Venom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real good. Real good sculpt. Yep. And also from House of the Dragon, we have a pop ride. So we have Rhaenyras, if I'm saying that right. Um, have not watched a show yet. Rainies. Rainies. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> um, with um, Malays? Melis? Dragon? Help me, Malays. Courtney. 
Millie. I have it either. Millie. Okay, well, still, you knew more than me. <laughs> it's a dragon. Yeah, dragon. Yay, pop rides. Yes, very good. And we have Whoa. a giant Greninja. Look at this sticker. It's like almost Big. the size of my fist. Big, Big sticker. So if you Big have is a, a regular pop's head, that sticker. Yeah. It really is. So if you have the regular Greninja, but you want a big Greninja, well now you can get one, which is pretty exciting, right? Yep. And that's all we've got from Funko. But we got lots more Good stuff, stuff to though. show you. We do. We got all of this. We got all this. Um, let's go ahead and check out some Cos Babies though. Yes. Okay, oh, celebrating. Oh, oh no. Yeah, 90 years of Donald Duck. Crazy. So. That might call for some form of celebratory sound, maybe. Yes, it would. All right, hang on, um, let me grab this. Okay, I will grab this. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> All right, back to this. Excellent. Okay, so, Donald Duck with cake or in the cake. Yes. Which is pretty cool, so that's proper celebratory. Uh, we have a velvet hair version of Donald and I love how they're facing with his butt forward. That's very important. <laughs> we also have a dancing yep. Donald Duck. doop de doop de doo doing a jig. Laughing. Laughing Donald Duck. And we have a toy duck version of oh, Donald. Oh, that weirds me out a bit. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of confronting. Because you're it? like, oh yeah, he is a duck. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of confusing, but yeah. it's fun. And it's right. fun. It is. Uh, before we start getting into action figures and mm -hmm. statues, let's let's go through all the other stuff that's not those things. Like okay. some stance socks. Yep. So, we have started stocking uh, stance socks. Say um, that ten times fast. Yeah, I know, right? I had to slow <laughs> that down because I knew what was going to happen. So, we've shown you some um, little box sets that we have, but now we've got some like NBA socks and a couple of music socks as well. Including Get these those Queen feet ones. dancing with Queen, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Look, it's all shiny. Ooh. So they've used like embroidery oh. thread here, I think, or it might be screen printed. Actually, it's screen printed. That's my bad. But super shiny, right? I'm going to try and pick that up on camera. It's a bit hard to catch the light. But yeah. In, they're a lot, they're very shiny IRL, but hard to pack up. Pack up, pick up through the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But trust us, they are very shiny. Very cool. And like the thing about stance socks as well is that they've got so many like little layers through them. Mm. So they're really, oh. really comfortable to wear. Oh, I love when socks have that bit that like grabs the bridge of your foot there. Exactly, right? Yes. How many socks do that? Stance socks do. We also have the Notorious B.I.G. On some sockies, the sky's the limit. That's a hell of a sock. Yeah, it's real good, right? You're going to have to wear wow. some tapered trousers to really show these bad boys off. Oh, that's great. Yeah, real yeah, good, right? There? I was confused by that. It's just the heel. Oh, oh, right. I thought I was like, does it have pockets? And then I'm like, no, it doesn't. Socks with pox Dude. is a great idea. Someone do that, please. Then let us that's show ours. it on No one show. do that. No one yeah. do that. That's yeah, ours. actually, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, ouch. Talk of it again. Look at these instead. Yes. Look, NBA. So we have um, some just like mascot socks and yep. socks that are called zone socks. Zone. So they're kind of designed after the court, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also have, these are all mixed in everywhere. So these are. Lakers? Yeah, 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 so not the zone ones. Just, oh, yeah, just yeah. A nice, that's just the, the theme just of the, the Lakers theme. Exactly. We also have... Um, Suns? Miami Suns. Sorry, that's my hair. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> uh, we also have the Bucks again. Oh, I see. This is yeah, the difference yeah. here. We can do a comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so check it out. Zone, zone and normals. Yes. Zones so more like based off the uniform, right? Yeah, exactly. And so got another zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bears. The bears. Gr Grizzlies or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we have these Is ones. Is this heat? Yes, I believe so. Yes, heat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We also have. I know this one, the Chicago Bulls, and I know this because of the Rock. <laughs> the probable. Uh, we also have uh, the Knicks zone socks. Yeah, yeah. We have the Lakers zone. Yes. It's really fun uh -huh. to see zone. Heat zone. Oh, the heat zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bull zone. The bull zone. Mm -hmm. You want to stay out of the bull zone. And the Celtic zone. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So you need some comfy sports socks. Well, we got a lot of them. Take um, a stance on it, folks. And yeah. by that, I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. get them on your feet. Take, take a stance. I love that. It's so good. All right. Uh, let's get into these. What are these? These are real good. Let me show you. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Hurrah. So we have um, giant belt buckle magnetic pins How here. How giant are we talking? They're pretty giant. So these are Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. Of course, these come in a nice little yeah. box, yeah. right? And come a that little... is a nice box. Yeah. Look at them. A couple of friends hanging out. Certificate of authenticity. Yep. Checks numbered out. Numbered and everything yeah. oh, that's too. Good. that's and, good to know. And here they are. Oh. So these oh, are wow. big that is, giant pins. That and is, these are weighty. That right? is. These yeah. are very weighty. You're going to need a big belt top. Hang on, what? So, they're designed like belt buckles, uh -huh. but you wear them as a pin. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. magnets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like that. I'd write, I like magnets a lot more than I like pins. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not going to pull, like, hang down and tear your clothes. Or right. put holes in it right. for a start. It's really clever. That's smart. So, like and it. you can put it anywhere too. If you want to wear it on your sleeve, you can because Pop it's it magnets. Sleeve. It's great. Just don't put the magnets in your body and no, try don't. and wear the magnet on your skin. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Don't do I, that. I don't will... imagine people doing that, but good warning. Yes. Good warning. Do not put magnets in your body. No, don't do that. Um, we have the uh, Wolverine themed uh, one here, which is pretty cool. They're, they're some chonking magnets. Yeah, they're very chonky, but they are very cool. Uh, so we have these ones as well, right? So we have the oh, wall machine hey, whoa, arc reactor. That's yeah. a fancy looking box. Again, certificate of authenticity. Yes, yes. yes. very cool. Wow. Check it out. So again, works the same way. Yep. Um, Holy shimoli! Look yeah. at this. It's got some weight to it, right? But check it out. It does other stuff too. What do you mean? It lights up. Shut the front door. Hang on. <laughs> check it out. Look how bright that is. That is so good. And it has a couple of sequences. So this is just yeah. standard. There's also a flashing one. And then more of a strobe, right? Oh, and that's all. Oh, yes. Yeah. Real cool. good. Real, real good. Oops, I just started the sequence again. There we go. So we have that one. We also have the Iron Man RT5 arc reactor. Classic. Very important. My favorite one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real good. Certificate of authenticity and everything. And we pull this out and it also lights up. Does it have modes? It does. It has I like the, the same blue modes. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Lot. I think we have to hit those lights again though. Let's really take a look at how bright this is. Yeah, look at that. It's so good. So we have that slower flashing. All right, let's hit that dance party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Mm, 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 That's mm, real good. <laughs> but yeah, so you can get those right now. And oh, I just started the sequence again. <laughs> oh, you're doing well. <laughs> Things are going well. Yay. Um, we also have the. Oh, uh, hang on. What is this going to be? This is the time turner necklace. Oh. That Hermione <gasps> Granger Ooh. uses, right? Again, certificate of authenticity. There it is. Look. That's it happening. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. And here it is. And yes, it does turn. So check it out. Yes. Yep. Turns. Turns all the way. Oscillates. All 360 and everything. Very shiny. We've got like um, some little diamantes in there. And it's the gold, like, you can't really appreciate it. Uh, through a camera, but in person, it's really shiny. Like, it's so pretty. Yes. Yeah. It has a luster to it that almost makes you question whether you want to become a professional thief or not. I know, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have all those and they are pretty cool. Pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty cool. So why We got a lot we... of cool things on here yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, Why don't we get into some, some what of these, these ceramic actions, right? What are those? They're mugs. It's a little mug. That is not a little mug. That is a giant mug. It's, it's a big giant mug from Bioworld. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember where it was from. Um, I have forgotten the name of this character, but Sanrio. Yes. Yeah. Frog? Toidle? It begins with T, but it's not Toidle. 
It's a turt for sure. Yeah, yeah. and another Sanrio character here I'm unfamiliar with. Birdface, let's say birdface. <laughs> <laughs> big, big giant. Like, look at this in comparison to my head. You can fit a lot of drink in there. Or some soup, whatever you want to put in. Soup. Whatever liquid. Yes. Yeah. That would, this would be a really good mm. soup actually, because like you can really get your hands around it nice, feel that heat and everything. You go, oh, yeah, yes. it's real good. Use this for soup, seriously. It'd be great. Yes. You can also use this for different kinds of soup. <coughs> yes. Right? Also from BioWorld. So we have this Kirby themed This one's um, for soup bowl. with nudes. Yeah, yeah, it's for your nudes. Yep. Chopsticks for nudes. For nudes, yeah. Yep. So we have this cute little Kirby design on there. And this actually has a resting place for the um, chopsticks. I love that bowls that have this. Yeah, it's real good. And then when you get to the end, you have a little logo there. Yeah, a little message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just in case you don't know if you're done, there you go. That's the way you tell. Don't right. stop till you get to the message. We also have this character again. It's all polka dots. Yeah. Does it say on the bottom who they are? It might say on the bottom. What does it say? Karopi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it began with T. I was ha. way off. K yes. is very different to T. So we have those. Now we have 15 minutes to get through all Let's do stuff. it. Let's do it. Power. Okay. Power. Party. So we have some knuckle bones, okay? We do. Set of four, queen. The whole band of queen. So you can't get these individually. You must get them in a set. Um, so they are pretty cool. We got, got Freddie, Freddy, all the gang, they're all here. All on these really cool bases. Legs McGee over here. We've got Drumsticks McGraw. <laughs> With his, those are some, that's some real pants going on there. Yeah, they're real shiny. We also have three pieces of Slayer. You can rain in blood in your collection. Oh, absolutely. These guys. We've got Kerry King, we've got Tom Araya, and uh, this guy who I forget his name, but he's got a Slayer t shirt on and he's got a Slayer logo on the bottom, so you know he's in Slayer. Yeah. Uh, and that's all from Knuckle Bones we have. So let's uh, let's check out a couple of action figures because I'm afraid I might forget them. <laughs> so from Bendy Figs, uh, the Noble Collection, sorry one of their bendy figs. This is the Cynthia doll yes. from Rugrats. Whoever wanted, yes. you know, <laughs> Angela's manky Cynthia doll. Man. Now you can have her. Angelica was the biggest bee. Oh my God, she was <laughs> such a snot-nosed brat, wasn't yeah. she? Um, but a now brat, you can have her doll, I mean. yeah. And she comes with a stand and yeah. everything as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. Now, we also have... see Reptar next. Ooh, we have these... Oh, these are fun. These are fun. Yeah. These are fun. From McFarlane. Not only does this come with two figures, right? Includes two English comic books. So, once you open this up, um, you'll be able to read those comics and yep. everything. And you can, like, I don't know, you can, like, play along with them or That's whatever right. you want Recreate to do. Recreate the scenes from the comic books with your little friends that yeah. come with it. Optimus Prime and a little Megatron. Look at him go. Yeah, pretty cute. There is also Bumblebee and Wheeljack. Yes. Comes with two comics. Excellent. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. There is also G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. We have Duke. Yep. And Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. Two uh, comic books. Oh. And Sozzies. I just knocked that then. Um, we have Cobra Commander and a Crimson God. Oh, look at them all. Two English comic books included. G.I. Joe! So cool! All right, we have some fun stuff from Mezco. We do. From the 112 Collective um, line of theirs. Um, what was the name of this G.I. Joe guy? That is Duke. Duke. Now, this is, these are crazy. These, these 112 Collective figs, um, we don't have much time to spend on them now, unfortunately, but they have so many accessories. So many. So many guns and bits, helmets, um, and, and so many working little things. Um, Bianca, can you grab this phone for a second? I'll yeah, just demo of these things real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of the accessories all kind of fold out oh, and work. And so this is a little kind of little tactical shovel or tactical as I like to say. <laughs> um, and they all have this so many little interactive bits like this little flick knife that comes with a flat top over there. Like, flat top and Dick Tracy. Here. What? Ah! Stab, stab, stab. That's so cool. Right? Like everything, Sorry, that was probably really loud. 
like this little case here, you think, oh, he's just going off for a nice little plays of his little mandolin or violin. Wrong what? assassinations. Um, and all these bits come out and you can build a Tommy gun. Ooh. So he's like sneaking it in somewhere, right? He's being all like this sneaky, is... dodgy guy. And he's got like yeah. um, dynamites and, hang on, let me grab this. Come here, flat top. This is like next level, man. Their, their tailored clothing is awesome. Like his, his sawn off shotgun there. Click. What? That opens up. Oh my God. Um, yeah, they're, they're really cool. They come with like a bazillion different hands a bunch of different heads. They're all fully articulated, fully tailored clothing. Wow. They're wild. They're really, really, really cool. I'm just gonna lay him down. He's too Yeah, there. that's So we've got um, Dick Tracy over here too, and he's got like his coffee, uh, like there's a crowbar. I think a bunch of these accessories belong to that guy, but it doesn't matter anyway. He's got his yeah, badge. Yeah, because they come in a two pack, right? He's got his so alert coming on his wrist yeah, there. That. From That's another little accessory that pops on and off as you wish. That's really cool. Yeah. Again, fully tailored clothing, a bunch of different heads. He's got his flashlight. Got his flashlight out. Um, whoop, sorry, Duke. Oh, well, whoop. you're fine. Have a lie down. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been, been working busy. hard. Yeah. Yep. Um, they're really, really cool, these figures. I can't stress them how um, detailed they are with all the different accessories. Again, this is just a handful of them. Yeah, Mezco 112, insane. Really, really cool. Absolutely insane detail. Now let's check out some, some other big action figures. Actually, you know what? This is not an action figure, but it is Art the Clown. This is uh, one of Mezco's living dead dolls. And it's Art the Clown. This is real <laughs> good, real good. Like check out that expression, right? Yeah. So he comes with a knife. Like, I don't know if you can see that in the bottom of the box there, but if you are collecting living dead dolls, especially these really like iconic horror characters, you need art. They've done a great job of making him like capturing art's look, but also to the style of living dead dolls there. Great stuff. Exactly. Great stuff really there. Really cool. Now, from 3-0. We've got a few friends from 3-0. Yeah. We've got some 1-6 um, scales here. So this is uh, Edgen... Uh, Darvis. Darvis, yes. Thank you. I could not read that up. He's Edgen. Down. Edgen. Now, we chose not to take these out of the box because look how nicely displayed these are. Yeah. So if Show you, you any... don't want to take these out of the box, um, you can just display them like this. This is really cool. It comes with, uh, would that be a mandolin? I think it's a lute. A lute, okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, you guys. Um, so he comes with interchangeable hands, great likeness as well, of course, 3-0, yeah. great for that. Amazing mixed media outfit. Mm, a bunch of different accessories. Tailored bits. And everything too. Cool stuff. Very cool. We've also got a couple of Stranger Things ones God, here. Action figures are starting. They're just next level now, oh, aren't they're they? they're insane. So we've got Mike Wheeler here. Comes with a whole bunch of accessories, including a backpack. Like a yep. proper, like look at the different materials here. Oh, it's got little duff bags, little zips. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, it's amazing. Comes with a little walkie-talkie. Flashlight, he's got like a watch in here, which will be a little hard to see yeah. on camera. Same and story though, hands. fully tailored outfit. Yeah, and fully articulated, right? Like yep. heaps Wrist of knobs. articulation. Um, real cool. And also from Stranger Things. It's Will Byers. Yes. Yay. Take a look at Will. Rah. I'm obsessed with the fact that they did him in that puffer vest. <laughs> it's so good. Comes with a gun, comes with interchangeable hands and everything. Yeah, and also his a walkie talkie. Are good. Yeah. Real good. Real, real good. But yeah, Will Byers, one six Buy scale. that one for your collection. Ah, <clears throat> and we got some Transformers. Yeah, yeah, More yeah. than meets the Skywarp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are also by 3 0. Um, these come with a whole bunch of interchangeable parts and accessories, yep. of course. Super premium being... Transformers, these ones, part of the MDLX line. Yeah, um, really cool. So it comes super with detail. wing blades and null ray cannons, all sorts of things for um, Skywarp here. That's right. Yeah, really, really cool. And we've cool. got his other friend, partner we in do. crime. Thundercracker. Thundercracker. What a name, right? Yeah. So he also comes with um, those null ray cannons and those wing blades as well, and like insane detail. Like just look at this. Yep. We were overwhelmed looking at these. We we're like, oh my goodness, how are we? Even so the MDLX line is oh. kind of like 
their, their designs are sort of based off their original Gen 1 uh, style of Transformer, but they've gone real techie with all the panels. Instead of kind of flat uh, panels everywhere, they've kind of added a lot more kind of in, uh, beveled bits and kind of lines and extra little doodads and panels to kind of make it look a bit more exciting yeah. and detailed and they look cool. So it's yeah. kind of a great mashup between um, the more modern look that Transformers have with little bits everywhere and the older kind of chunkier look of Transformers yeah. too. It's really yeah. cool, really cool really line. Good balance, great for Transformers right? fans, get into it. Real good. We have one more three zero figure here. Oh um, yes, yeah, Robotech, yeah, yeah, Rick yeah. Hunter's Robotech Jet Fighter. Again, lots of accessories, lots of different extra hands. He's got rockets there for his rocket pods. He's got a boom boom gun there. A boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And here he is in his, uh, the robot form after it has kind of essentially transformed from the jet and into this semi-robot-like uh, form there. Ah. Really, really cool. This is like, Robotech was kind of like my first uh, entry into anime when oh. I was growing up, which is a long time ago. Yeah. But it's not really a true anime. It was like a westernized anime. It was like the right. first time where they were like, hey, that's a really cool style. We can do that. Because yeah. America. And then so they did. And then they made this. And, and it was a great show. It looks like it does transform too. Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. does. So it's got like kind of two modes. So he's like, they had the full jet mode and they sort of had a half, half, half mode. And then he was like, no, nah, full commit rage right. robot mode. I thought it might be just this form, but no, yep. it does actually transform. That's right. And, That's and there's sick. a dude inside it piloting the whole thing. That's right? so cool. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. You know what else is cool? Fast and the Furious. Before Family. We, before we move on, just in yep. case we forget these ones. So these are from Iron Studios Mini Co line. So uh, we have Dominic here. Yep. With a little miniature of, I assume the car he drives. I'm not yep. up with Fast and the Furious. It's Vince Diesel. And we have Brian O'Connor. Yep. With his little car too. And these are great display boxes too, because they pack them on a diagonal. Great idea. Yeah, so you see can see things. everything, right? Yeah. Rather than like missing some stuff on yeah, the sides and all right. that kind of thing. He's going to have a hard time getting into that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we have more, well, one more action figure, and then we've got some more Iron Studios to take a look at. <laughs> but let's take a look at uh, this LeBron James, right? Yes. This is insane, okay? Uh, this is insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So he, this is by Enterbay, by the way. Enterbay are so great at sports figures. Like these um, figures come with a magnet here. So yep. you can pose him any way you want. Like we've obviously chosen to put him in some kind of slam dunk. <laughs> yeah, mid leap, ready to score one of many, many points. Yeah. And he comes with his, you know, standard two, Lakers right. uniform, you know, the one that I know the most, not being a sports ball fan. Yep. <laughs> Yellow, purple, neat. Yep. All his tattoos are here as well. You can see um, he's got his wristbands and everything and like all his... Mixed media tailored outfit. Yeah, including his bands. headband yeah, and cool. everything. Got he's got his beard. pink um, kicks, which amazing. Yep. I am totally mm. here for that. He comes with an alternate uniform as well That's in this colourway. And, and an really entirely cool. different body. Exactly. blinged right out. Now, I assume this figure is because of what this whole set is kind of um, celebrating, yep. right? So they're calling it all-time scoring leader. That's right. So apparently this is because, um, what was it you said earlier, he scored the most this is for a, all players? That's right. So this players. is this is the score that broke the world record of points scored by any one single player. He's right. now got way more than that. He's up to 40,000 something a while now. But on Feb 7th, 2023 was when he broke the world record with this score, this wow. number of points scored. That is cool. And yep. this like comes with Ray's embossing as yeah, well to make really it real good. special. Also comes with a smaller version that he one. can hold, which is really cool. Never mind this neck knob thing because yeah, yeah. it's designed to hit that head. 
goes onto there. Yeah, exactly. Um, he also comes with different accessories that you can put on. So he's got like this sparkly headband. He's got this crown going on with like proper little gems yep. on there, by the way. Super uh, sweet stuff. Yeah, he's got like little sunnies. He's got more jewelry and he's decked out in jewelry as well. Tats. Soft goods, tailored suit and everything. Good stuff. Big rings. Got it's insane. It's now speaking really of cool. uh, speaking of little kind of certificates and signed things. Oh wow! He also comes with a, a backing sweet card. Back card. Sorry, almost forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, so speaking of, we've got another figure here that has something pretty special with it too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really do. Okay, so this guy. Yes. Anderson the Spider Silva? Silvia? Silva. Silvers. Silvers. Yes. Okay. So what's really cool about this is not only is it him, right? And his super awesome uh, statue here. Yeah. Figure of him. But you see this at the front here. Yeah. Looks like it might be printed, right? Mm-hmm. It's not. Boom. It's not. Okay. Let me read this out to you. Congratulations, you now possess one of the only 200 Iron Studios officially produced collectible statues that were autographed by Anderson the Spider Silver himself. So that's his autograph. Like that's his actual proper autograph. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. 200. This. Yes. And that's so, one of them. Yeah, so if you buy this, you might have a chance of getting this lovely certificate to say, hey man, you got the real deal. You don't have a printed autograph, you've got the autograph, which is insane. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool, right? Um, so here we have him in this wicked stance. Ready and to he's mess got someone like, up. Yeah, and he's got this great backdrop yeah, and everything. In the cage. Yeah, to really the bring octagon. it home, right? Very, very, very cool. cool stuff. So cool. And then right next to him, we've got another ass kicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Robocop, which Your I move, am... creep. <laughs> I'm so unfamiliar with Robocop, but this piece is insane, right? Very I know what good. he looks like, and they've captured it so well. Very shiny. Yeah, like look at all this detail. If shiny I just spin and him around. Yeah. Very cool, right? And again, Iron Studios are great with scaling. You can collect a lot, a lot of these and they can be very space friendly and you can have a whole bunch of fandoms. Yep. And they're, but the detail's they're cost great, effective right? too. Yeah, yeah. and the, the detail's, detail's awesome. insane. Paintwork, fantastic. Very, very good stuff. Really now, cool. Look who at we this. got here? We have the deluxe version of the Don. Vito Corleone. The Don. Yeah, this is oh, really cool. No, we were very shows. impressed by this desk, by the I'm way. Impressed by this little cat here. Yeah. Little friend. Yeah, so the, de cute. the desk is wild. The desk yeah, is yeah, yeah. real nice. It's that carpet. Insane. Mm. Um, oh, shiny, it so it looks like it's varnished and everything. Weathering on the floorboards. The insane details on his chair. His shoes are shiny. Great um, He's got telephone with a proper cord and Mild everything. Brando. All these stacks. Like, it is real cool. If you are into The Godfather, this is a prime, really sick diorama piece for your collection. And who's this? We have Star-Lord here. Some kind of Pratt. Yeah, some kind of Pratt, right? So we have Star-Lord on this really cool, like, ship-inspired base. We also have Rocket Raccoon to go with that. Ah, yes, similar he can theme, build very a cool. Scene, yes. Right? Very, very cool. Rocket's awesome. Now, we also Speaking of stars. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Kiss, we have. The Spaceman. The Spaceman in there. You that might be like, like, hang on a minute, his guitar's backwards. That was a thing that he did. Yeah. He liked that. And then he's like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, my I guitar. love that expression. Ooh. It's so good, right? Ooh. Uh, and the last thing we've got That's to show you guys. Similar expression you make when you look at this next one, Billy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Love me some Witcher. Um, Get out of it, Slayer guy. Yeah, so we have um, the one and only Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia. Um, he is standing over the severed head of a basilisk, and it is so sick. All right, that's it, mate. You're gone. You're out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got like feathers going on. We've got parts of its oh. feet, 
and check out the that back. That is real Look juicy. Look how gorgeous Ooh, that is. that's real juicy and that's fresh. real good. And like the details on his armor is Feathers, insane. The yeah. stud work, all the creases in the armor, the snow on oh, his Oh, he's boots. been dropping some dropping some potions too as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. The, he's got those so dark eyes. He comes with an interchangeable head as well. So ah, you have yes. that fully like, you know, toxicated kind of witcher yeah. form and then you have just like a bleeding normal head yep. as well which is really, really cool. So if you are into um, Henry Cavill as the Witcher, definitely get this piece. It 100%. Is, it is super cool. And just like that, it is prize time. Let's Yay! give away some stuff, because this is Yay! like one of my favorite parts of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it's real making good, people's right? weekends. All right, let me get my little clipboard here so I can write yes. down who wins. But first we are gonna spin for the pop culture exclusive Spin to win, Woo! winning the wolf man. Who's gonna win the wolf man? Are you gonna, gonna win gonna the wolf win. man? And you are. Tez MC. Woo! Congratulations. Okay, so all you need to do is send us a private message on Facebook with your name and postal information, all the good bits that go on things to make it ship to you. We need that. <laughs> We need the words and the we, writings. We need your information. Yes. Send it to us. Yes. And we send you this. And so that was probably really loud, you guys. I just <laughs> tapped on my your mic. on there. All right. <laughs> All right. More prizes. I feel like we got to give away the other mm. exclusive we dropped, right? Sun Gohan. Beast mode. Beast who's, Gohan. Who's right. about to go beast mode? Someone is. Who wants a beast mode? You want a beast mode? This person wants a beast All mode. All right, Troy Sullivan. Woohoo! Congrats. Um, yes, yeah, so send us a private message with all your information that we need for shipping, not any other personal information. Yes, Unless and then we'll get this shipped out to you ASAP, probably yes. next week. Yes, we will start actioning that next week. And I feel like this, we've got to do one more prize, right? Oh, you're got to crazy. Do a nice, what are we going to nice do? What are we going to do? Prize. Let's give away The Rock. No. Andy will be very upset if we give away The Rock. Come it's on. Nice People rock love prize. The Rock. No, no. Ah. I think they're going to like Gamer Angel as well. Yes. What do you think? Yeah, yes. she's so cute. Get some Gamer Angel in your collection. All right. Now, who's going to win Gamer Ooh. Angel? Now, if we land on um, Tez or Troy again, we do have to spin again, so someone needs uh, Who is it? It's Chris Martin. Woo! Congrats, Chris. Okay, so send us a private message on Facebook with your name and your postal information, and we'll get this sent out to you next week sometime. Congratulations, everybody. Yay! Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Mm. That is it from us. Have an amazing weekend if you are in Canberra. Hit up Oz Comic Con, we are there, and we've got all the goodies for you to see. So That's right. Come to, uh, it's called Epic. Yep, yeah. stop on by, yeah. say good day. We got stuff. Come we've and have a look at it. Stuff. Come have a look at it, or come to our stores if you're in yes. Geelong. And uh, happy collecting, yeah. right? Have um, a lovely weekend, everybody. I'm Bianca, Luke, and Courtney running the show. We'll see you next week. Bye. See ya. Bye.